Hi everybody. In today's video I'm going to show you how I created this liquid wall behind me using my website pixeldatabase.net. It has a scatter feature. What you're seeing is actually two planes. The background plane contains the color and then the foreground plane is only 2% opacity. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi everybody. I'm back and before we get started I want to show you a couple of different textures I'm gonna delete my character for a while we don't need him and I'm gonna go ahead and go to my back plane and I want to show you a couple of different characters I thought looked kinda of good let me uh, get rid of my I'm gonna hide my light for a second and my little cylinder and I'll just select uh, on my back plane just to show you really quickly let me go to my preview this is how this works so it's basically you have the back plane is the one with the colors or whatever you want you know you can choose your texture but then this is the uh, kind of the magic of this thing is this right here and I'll show you how we create this in about right after this so I've got uh, this this is a plane that is 98 percent black and two percent of the pixels are transparent and we're gonna do that on my website pixeldatabase.net and we'll do that in just a second but before we do that I wanted to show you some uh, two alternate textures really quickly just to show you you can use you don't have to have the texture I'm using in the video to follow along you can use whatever texture you want I just looked around and found this one is a good one I'm going to show you that in just a second but first I want to show you this other one in my shirts folder I'm going to use this one right here could have used the larger version but it doesn't really matter it doesn't it's not going to look pixelated and now and there's also this is the glow this is the uh, the uh, texture I'm using for my glow channel for the back pane so just to show you this one looked pretty good also I can put the lights back I don't know why I hit them didn't really have to hide the lights but yeah you know, depending on what you're trying to build if this was like a little bar or a you know restaurant or a stage is why I was building it I was going to try to build a little either a stand-up comedy stage or a little you know newsroom or something but it kind of give you a little interesting background rather than just <clears throat> a static wall so and now we'll go ahead and get started but I'm gonna show you one other one the one that I looked at originally let me go back to my and this one is right in my textures folder Hey, there's the that's the one I use for the glow channel but you can play around whatever looks best for you I just can't give away these textures are not mine but I thought this one looked good also depending on the speed how fast you move the you know the back plane down is how fast this is gonna change I've got this set this scene is set on 7200 so it changes kinda slowly but I thought that looks really cool to me I don't know what do you think does that think that look good and it probably looks even better rendered I haven't looked at this rendered yet but I really like I was I, I that when I bought that texture right before this video just I was looking for a different kind of texture and I thought that one looked, turned out really well for anything you know anything from a sci-fi scene to it's all kind of uses for that to a nightclub or you know so anyway that was my quick demo of different textures now we're gonna go ahead and build it so now I will go to my plane and my back plane and we're gonna delete them because we're gonna recreate them and I'm gonna hide the lights for just a second we may put them back here in a minute and now what I want to do is I'm gonna start off in paint.net so I've already got it open so I'll just close everything I have open and I'm also gonna clear out my temp folder okay it's clear so good now in paint.net I'm gonna create a new image it's going to be 3840 by 2160 hit OK and now I'm gonna save this just go to my temp folder okay now I'm gonna to go to my website which is pixeldatabase.net this is depositphotos.com I, I don't get paid for this but I, I buy a hundred images at a time I like this site it's uh to me I, I used to have Shutterstock and they were such a crappy company I had to cancel a debit card to quit getting rebuilt every month so I like deposit photos I can buy a hundred images and I have a year to use it and I don't get paid for that so it's not a paid promotion it's just a site I like okay so now that we have we can close paint.net 
and we can close minimize iClone for a second okay we were on my site and I think I just closed it trying to talking and thinking is not my strong suit so back in temp so now I could have just uploaded any images any image but I'm gonna I wanted this one to be a certain size here I'm gonna say set color black just to give us a black background you can use whatever you want and now I'm gonna say set color white this is the part that I think is neat. Scatter. And we're going to do scatter 2.2. I don't think I've done that. I may have, but it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to hit apply. And this is a kind of big image, so I'll get a drink while this finishes. The random numbers take a little longer than some of the other functions. Okay, so now that we've got our white, what we're going to do is say hide total greater than 10 and that'll get rid of the black pixels so now we've got it's a black background with a little bit of see-through holes basically and we're going to download that and I'll put that also in my temp folder because I well I'll move it when this is over I'll call this a semi-transparent two because it's two percent all right and save all right so now that we've got this we're going to go back over to iClone and I'm going to create two planes so to make sure I'm on my preview camera because I don't really want to mess up our position too much and I'll say create primitive sh I mean surface plane and I'm going to create one more just to get them both out of the way so primitive shape surface again same place sorry my brain didn't work it's consistently stupid all right so now we've got our first one we're going to modify it to 90 on the y because i've done this before all right now we're going to scoot this back just to kind of get over here so i can see it a little better and this is going to be our back plane I think I have that one selected. If not, we'll rename it. Now I'm going to make it a little bit wider than our building. I'm going to scoot it up. And now I want to resize it a little more vertically. And we're going to scoot that up. Okay. And now we're going to do the same for this one. This is going to be the transparent one, or semi transparent. Again, this one's going to go right up against the wall, or where the wall would be. I took the wall, I hid the wall, and I made this building in my little Python uh, script creator. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set this back color because I have trouble seeing the gray on gray right there. So I'm going to go ahead and set this, and we'll use that one I just bought. I kind of like it. Uh, that one. And we'll use this. Uh, also, I want to go ahead and do the glow channel while we're here. And for that, I'll use that same one I used. You can use whatever you know. If you have some colorful textures, or I bought those. I, I can't get. I don't have the rights to. I have to pay like thirty-five dollars if I want to give those away. So, sorry. I like you guys, but I can't pay thirty-five bucks to do this stuff. All right. So now. This is going to be our little plane. I'm going to, doesn't really matter too much. It'll make the holes a little bigger if you make it too wide. All right. So what we're going to do for that is, I'm going to scoot it back just a little. I'm going to put my lights back to visible, make sure. Yeah, that looks fine. I'm wrong, not the lights. Sorry, I wanted to move the... Okay, this is going to be back plane, and this is plane. That's fine. All right, and now we're going to set our textures for this. So it's going to be the base color of this is going to be our new uh, semi-transparent two. Okay, and that is basically. This might be a little different than the uh, the one I had before. Let me see what that looks like. If we get my camera. 
Okay, now the reason you'll feel like, well, that's nothing's happening, and that's because we haven't animated our. Oh, let me do something real quick. I'm gonna make our two planes in the camera, for that matter. Remove object animation so that it's a. Uh, they don't go back to where they were on frame one. I didn't realize I wasn't at the beginning when I set them. All right, and now we're gonna go back to preview camera. And I want to animate this. So on frame one, we've got a keyframe. So we want to go to frame. We might even uh, move that up a little. Not all those, just back pane. Back plane, sorry. I think back pane is part of my story of my life. Okay, and my pivot for this appears to be. Why am I not getting the. Okay. Now I want to go to the uh, frame 7200, which is, I have a long frame, I have a long scene, and I'll set the transition curve preset at linear, and if you don't have your frame set, your project set to 7200, oops, you can just set it really quickly and edit project settings and set it right there. Okay, so now what we want to do is on frame 7200 move this to about there. And how fast or how slow it moves is how many, you know, you can, that's up to you. You can move it less if you want, if it looks better or move it more. All right, and now we're going to go back to our camera. Let me kind of get our scene all lined up again. This one here looks a little different. I think I had less uh, transparency on the previous one. Okay, so that was my really quick video on how to create, I called it liquid walls, but you can, I don't know what you, you know, animated texture walls or whatever you want to call it, but what do you think? That looked pretty neat. I thought it was kind of cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I recently reached 200 subscribers, so I feel like, woohoo, I'm only about eight more years from a thousand. So, all right, thanks for watching. Everybody have a great day. I'm going to end the video with a couple of minutes of this. Mm -hmm.